Let me get my strip. And two of these I am going to do on skin. I'm going to let y'all know right now. Layton. Layton is going to be safe for last. I already know what that smells like. I have a couple of decants of Layton. So that's going to be safe for last. But the first one that we're going to tap into is going to be that green leaf. This one for a fact I have not smelt. It really hasn't piqued my interest too much. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and get into a couple of them. First one is going to be Greenly. I want to say all these are like 1 mLs, 1.5 mLs. Before we do, salute to my guy Aaron, the um, Parfums of Marley rep at Neiman Marcus that blessed me with these at North Park Mall. Shout out to you, fam. We actually got some things in the work as far as Parfums of Marley go. So you want to make sure that you got your bell notification set. That's all I'm going to say. Because I got some things in the work with Parfums of Marley. I know I'm a cheapy channel. I know I talk about affordable, affordable fragrances. But man, just stay tuned. That's all I'm going to say. Let's get into this greenly real quick. Oh, my Lord. I thought I had a face in this one. Mm. Just getting the green. I already like this. I already like this. Very uh, a nice, a nice citrus, fougere fragrance with a slight fruitiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one a lot, bro. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why isn't this one talked about as much? Like I do see people talk about Sedley. I do see people talk about Layton for sure. Layton exclusive. All tier. This is nice, bro. This is one of those mass appealing type of DNAs. A good amount of citrus up top, though. So it is extremely fresh, but it does have a very nice herbal take about it as well. Very much so on that green side of fragrance. This is one of those that you can see spring and summertime. It does have a slight orange citrus about itself, but it is more so going to be on that. Basically like a bergamot citrus very fresh very much a fresh fragrance a little bit of a fougere sense because you it is giving off a little bit of a green take as well and it does have a little bit of like a fruity sweetness to it also why isn't this one talked about more because this is a very much so like a mass appeal type of dna like i can't see this one being one of those that like put it like this Right now, if I was, because Parfums of Marley comes in 75 and 100 that I know of. This is a 75 ml worth bottle. Now, unless the performance is just lacking, but just our first impression, this is not lacking on like the scent profile itself. This is very much so one of those fragrances that you can get. And you really don't have to worry about too many people being off, offset by like off putting in a way. This is one of those type of DNA, bro. This is nice. Part of me feels like I might have a clone like this. Part of me feels like I have a fragrance. I don't think I do. I'm looking at my fragrances because they're right here, but I don't think I do, but this is nice, bro. This right now it is. Cause yeah, I know I always do two on skin afterwards. This one right here, I can see this one being put on skin. I can very much so see this one put on skin. Now this is the one thing that I have when it comes to Parfums and Marley fragrances. And outside of Layton, because that one just, that one really does perform on me. When you're getting into these prices, I want to know, when you get into these type of prices, do y'all care about performance? Because for me, if I'm not at least getting six, seven hours out of this, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? That's my main thing. I want at least six, seven hours. Because I can always reapply. But I don't want it to be like an English laundry type of performance where I'm only getting two, three at the most and I'm paying this type of price point. This is a beautiful fragrance, so I like this. It's still staying very much so in that fresh fougere, that fresh green side of things. Again, it has a lot of citruses. That bergamot is mainly taking over the citrus aspect, but you can get small hints of like a mandarin orange. You still do get, you still do get that green apple sweetness in there. It's not much at all, but you can tell that it's there when you're up on it. And then it does have like a very nice pedigree sense about itself. I'm surprised that I'm not getting too much of the woods right now. It's mostly going to be just a fresh Fougier style fragrance. And that freshness is mainly going to be the bergamot. And that Fougier right now from what I'm getting 
is mainly going to be the pedigree that's in this fragrance. A beautiful fragrance, in my opinion. I really, again, again, bro, I don't know why Greenlee is not talked about as it's that, in my opinion, should be up there with like the late and in a way. Like, if I'm ranking it S as the best A, B, C, and doing tiers. And then I'm doing it mass appeal to where I'm taking other people's opinion into consideration, not just my own personal opinion. Greenlee should be in that S because I really can't see anything that just I'll put. It's not like Haltane. Let me just say this. It's not like Haltane. Like, I'm a fool for Haltane. I like Haltane. But Greenlee is very much so like a S top tier fragrance when it comes to Parfums de Marley. Like this should be ranked a lot higher in my personal opinion than what I see talked about. Let's hop into the chat real quick. Let's see what we got. They said Greenlee smells like an apple orchid. I can see that. I can see that because it is a good amount of, it is like I said, that green apple is there. But for me right now, the main thing that's shiny is that bergamot as well as that pedigree, a slight fougier fragrance. Not much on that fougier side is more so on that fresh side, but there is a little bit of fougier herbal take that you can't pick up in this. So I, I can, but I can't see what you're talking about, Trevor. I can't see that. Salute, hey, our genre. Ah, salute fam. I appreciate you for tapping in, man. Center of the day, Blue Atlas. Atlantis? Yeah. Blue Atlas, shout out to you, man. I appreciate you for tapping into the live stream. Thank you, my guy. By the way, all her main portfolio, Royale Stallion, is a clone of Perfumes de Marley Pegasus. I need to write that down. I need I need to write that down. Hold on. Cause I do want to get a few clone. My pen's like here. I'm just let me grab a pen real quick. Ugh. Let me grab a pen real quick. You know, when uh, when Sensei come through and let you know what it is, you got to take note of it. Hey, if y'all know of any clone of these Parfums de Marley that we will be going over, let me know because I do want to grab a couple and tap into it. So make sure that y'all let me know down in the chat. I am going to write this one down. Shout out to you, Sensei. I'm going uh, to write that down real quick. Mm-hmm. Thank you again, fam. I really do appreciate that. And that's gonna be Pegasus. Shout out to you, fam. I appreciate that. Again, if y'all know if any parfums of Marley clones, let me know down in the chat. That way I can add that to the list and possibly check that out. Cause now that I have a lot from that line, especially even if it's a decant, I can still go back and revisit these for a future video. So let me know down in the chat. My wife still says I smell like B.O. when I wear it. When you wear Greenlee? I don't know, fam, because even now it's starting to, I guess I'm most starting to have like a soapy appeal to it while, while still maintaining that green apple. That green apple is starting to shine a lot more now. That's why, man. I'm sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know if you still got your bottle or not now, because damn. Hey, when the spouses don't like it, it does throw it off sometimes. It does throw it off. Makes you not want to wear it too much. At least not when you're around them. There are certain fragrances my lady don't like. 